Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. It's been a while since I did one of those, but yeah, today we're gonna be checking out this $1,200 gaming PC. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC building or benchmarking videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But before we get into it, let me quickly pay some bills. Dev Mountain is a 13 week class for all of you aspiring iOS and web developers out there. Their 13 week class focuses on providing you only the skills that you actually need to go out there and start your new career and coding, they don't waste time with a filler curriculum like at a traditional college. They also feature student housing at no extra cost, a variety of different classes including UX design and QA testing, and most importantly all of this is available at an affordable price. Head on down to that first link in the description to learn more if you're interested in getting that quick boost you need to start your new career in coding and design. Alright so for today's video I want to talk about the parts list and the price. These are all new parts and a lot of them were sent from Deep Cool, Corsair, and Antec so shout out to them. And then after that I want to quickly talk about what kind of performance you should expect. So unlike my other building videos where we start off with the CPU, I gotta start with the case this time because this here is the Antec DA601 and oh my god I think I'm in love. In my opinion this is a super mean looking case with those aggressive angles up front and overall I think it just looks really well. Keep in mind that this case does cost $85 so right off the bat you should be able to tell that this isn't going to be one of those pure performance every last bang for your buck kind of builds. To go along with that theme, the these case fans that I'm rocking are from Antic as well, and these are the Prism 120 RGBs, and I actually put them on top of my Deepcool AIO water cooler because I didn't feel like having two sets of RGB products in here. Speaking of which, this AIO specifically is the Deepcool GamerStorm Captain 240 Pro, and it actually has a pretty unique selling point. According to Deepcool, this AIO is featuring a brand new anti-leak technology with an automatic pressure relieving radiator, which apparently guarantees that it'll never leak. This AIO is definitely good on paper but it's pretty expensive as it costs $120 but come on it looks baller. Finishing up with our non-performance parts, I guess. The power supply I went with is the Antec Earthwatts Gold Certified 650 Watt PSU, which is semi-modular and costs around 75 bucks. The hard drive I went with is simply just a single 500 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD from Corsair, and this thing is definitely fast. Obviously, if you're gonna build a $1,200 build, you're probably gonna want some more storage in it, but I think you're starting to realize that this build isn't really about the functionality, and it's more about the looks. Speaking of which, we now have the the performance parts and the first up is our CPU and that's the Ryzen 5 2600X which is a 6 core and 12 threaded beast that's no stranger to the channel. The motherboard has also been featured several times already and this is the ASRock X470 Master SLI board and honestly I went with this one because I'm really digging the color scheme of this build without the RGB. Whenever I turn all the lights off you can see that I have an all black and gray theme and I actually think it looks pretty clean like this. Moving on we have the RAM and here I went with the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB which is a 2 by 8 gigabyte kit of DDR4 3000 and this one definitely isn't cheap coming in at 150 bucks. And finally we have the GPU and I decided to throw in the new EVGA GTX 1660 Ti which is probably the most valuable part in this build other than the 2600X as it's packing some serious 1440p gaming for under $300. Well there you have it, here's the parts list to this ridiculous $1200 RGB build which I definitely wouldn't recommend if you're going purely for performance but hey if you're not not afraid to spend money on aesthetics then this will definitely get the job done. Before wrapping up this video I do want to quickly talk about performance but I've actually already benchmarked this exact CPU RAM and GPU combo in my $1,000 gaming PC build guide which you can watch up here so I'm just going to quickly rattle off the numbers because it's going to be almost the exact same. For Apex Legends in 1440p and high I got over 120 frames per second, Fortnite at 1440p and Epic settings hit a 72 FPS average, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds in 1440p and high hit 86, Far Cry New Dawn in 1440p and ultra settings hit just at our target 60, make sure you watch my dedicated video on this one by the way, and finally Battlefield 5 in 1440p and high settings hit 75 FPS. So yeah, that's actually some pretty solid performance here in 2019, this build is certainly capable of high to ultra settings in 1440p, but no, this definitely isn't the best bang for your buck kind of build. I'm only saying this multiple times because I'm trying not to get destroyed down in the comments section, I simply wanted to make an aesthetically pleasing build with some extra parts I had in the studio thanks to Antec, Deepcool, and Corsair. Well there you have it, that wraps up this ridiculous $1200 gaming PC build guide. As always, make sure you guys drop a comment down below about what you think of this build. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, yet another gaming PC build guide. You don't want to miss that video.